everybody, welcome to February. We've got there, thank goodness. Things are looking brighter, cheerful, and everything is coming back to life again. Daffodils, the birds are nesting, it's all very exciting times, and hopefully it's exciting for us too, because we're moving further and further and further along to getting all back together again, and seeing all our friends and family at last. What we're gonna do today is we are going to make a bird feeder nester table. Well, not a table, it actually hangs, so it's like a frame and all you need is an old back of a photograph you know remember we use the frames at christmas if you, i don't know if you recall but this card that's in the back of the frame or any dense card really or a piece of um wood that can go outside whatever and some old plant pots which i'm sure many of you have lying around the place i have some twine i have some gems and um and glitter and stones and stuff. I have some old curtain rings and I have an empty Ferrero Rocher box that I did me all by myself, I swear. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. This is actually finished now, but I will talk you through the stages because it was easier for me to create it and show you it finished rather than the painstaking going through, going through. It doesn't take long, don't get me wrong, but I just don't wanna bore you. So. I painted the back of mine in these wonderful mermaid colours because I think they're really pretty. And I used just cotton wool balls and just run, run, ran it around. These are my curtain hooks, as you can see. The old um, paint, plant pots, not paint pots. Well, you could use cans, you could use paint pots, you could use yogurt pots. Doesn't really matter. Anything with a flat bottom on it that we can uh, glue gun onto the onto the board itself. The old rope I had, and I stuck that on there too because. It's nice for them to have somewhere where their little claws can hang on to because with the plastic, if it gets wet and stuff, I don't know what it's like to be a bird and hang on by your claws, but I'm sure it's not pleasant if it's wet. So that's why I put the, the toy in there. And in the boxes, these here are just little gems that I was hoping if when the sun comes out, it might glisten. And these down here are little, little sparkly flowers for the same reason, just to add a bit of bling. As you know, I like a bit of bling. In here are my seeds. In here I was gonna put apple chunks and stuff like that. Um, I have little bits of twigs that have fallen off, you know, with the wind and stuff, and I just pick them up and pop them in there too. And dry, well, dry them out and then pop them in there too. And some cotton wool as well. This here you can put your water in if you want to, but just maybe put some stones or pebbles and stuff inside here too, so they have something to stand on if they do decide that they're gonna climb in there. And that is basically my bird nest feeder helper kit for all the little feather, fur, furry, fur, furry friends, no, feathered friends that we have around the place at the moment. So if you do make it, please show me your pictures. I'd love to see them. And happy bird watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.